What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. And gentlemen, fellow decoders around the world, wherever you may be, both male and female, my name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality, and today we're going to be breaking down and decoding Prometheus. On the sides of this, I have Pluto and Hades there, but... It's Prometheus Decoded. Ladies and gentlemen, get yourself strapped in, get settled in. Like I often say, throw on a pair of headphones. This one is really going to give you some gold nuggets on how this reality works. We're going to get into some nature, some organic things. Showing you the organic source code playing out in the organic source code. Nature. So this is Prometheus Decoded with a little bit of Pluto and Hades because that's exactly kind of what it's all about. So, you know, it really started just a few weeks ago on May 13th where I opened up this room and behind that screen was my face and I was talking about uh, Hades and Pluto, which actually was all about Prometheus. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you why Hades and Pluto went to Prometheus and uh, how that came to be. Um, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of that. And it really starts with this gentleman right here. His name's Percival Lowell. This gentleman right here kind of was the man who started the searches for the planet Pluto, um, which is, you know, this originally was the symbol for Pluto. It was just the P and L combined. It was his initials. And, you know, it led to this one right here, the symbol now. But what's very fascinating about this gentleman here is he op not only did he open up an observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, where he died, but his birthday to death day, 13 and 12, you add it up and it's 25. And this is why I feel, and I had said during my broadcast, I feel that Pluto is obviously the god of the underworld because Earth is all about the underworld. Earth is the black sun. And you need the black sun for it to have an underworld. The earth does not give off any of her own light. She requires light from the sun. So I feel that the earth is the black sun. I mean, you could say that Pluto's the black sun as well, but these will be fractals. These will be fractals. And then I <clears throat> had shown that, you know, why I feel qualified to, to show you this presentation, why I feel very confident showing you this information is because, you know, his initials are the two initials of my my last name and my mother's maiden last name, um, Payette and Lebec. So I have the P&L there. And what's really interesting about this is that our, our his death day, he died on November 12th, 
but he died on a Sunday. I was born on a Sunday, February 4th, and it's a span of 283 days, and that's the 61st prime number. And then you go right here, and bam, there it is. It's the element Prometheum. You know, my, my birth name starts with the letter P. So it's, it's a, to me, it's a pretty much a dead giveaway. And, you know, if you want to go and look at the, um, <clears throat> this video here, let's talk about Pluto. Check it out. I broke all this down uh, with me and this gentleman very much on a deep. But I'm not going to go really into this. I want to put more effort into the actual um, presentation itself. But I'm just going to show you a few more slides here. I forgot I had these in here. Just to kind of solidify that I feel I'm the reincarnation of Percival Lowell. Uh, which I mentioned in my Let's Talk About Pluto, which is t tied to Prometheum, uh, which is Prometheus. I, I feel like I am the reincarnation of Percival Lowell, um, the, the actual guy who, who, who founded Pluto, discovered it, Clyde Tombaugh. He, he's got the same birthday as I do. <laughs> and then Elizabeth, who was the, uh, the mathematician who calculated the prediction of Pluto and the existence of it, she was born in the same city I was born in. So the, these were pretty much humdingers for me. I was like, jaw on the floor, wow. And then I looked at the card charts and I may end up doing a decode on that because when I, th those there show completely that I'm the reincarnation of this guy right here. So I'm just picking up where he left off. And uh, I'm going to do my best to go through this presentation, show you all this kind of stuff. I mean, here's my birth city, you know. I mean, uh, so much uh, tie into Lucifer and Pluto being 28, Plutonium, and being tied to the black sun, which is Earth and the underworld. They're, they're, they go hand in hand. They have to be one and the other. So anyway, let's get into this, uh, this, this intro, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a little bit more of Prometheus here. Prometheus, Hades, Pluto, same thing. I'm going to show you why that it prefers to be called Prometheus, but what you're going to notice is that it has the word pro in it. So these are some of the words that also have the word pro in it. And what you, you know, what does the word pro mean? Well, I mean, procreation. It means to, you know, it's, it's creating something proactive. It means movement, proclaim, provide. I'm going to, I'm going to create a product. And so it really is all about the word pro. And it's a 17. How about that? 17. And it means life. Prometheus was known as the Titan who created man from clay. That's the story in Greek mythology. Now, that's all I can go off of. But I'm going to support that through these chain of events here and all this breakdown and research that I've been doing with this right here. And even, <clears throat> this is why Chaldean to me is the top dog cipher. Once again, shining through, the word pro is 827. And 827 is not just any number, it's the 144th prime number. And you get into theology, the chosen ones, but it goes a little bit further than that because how about Prometheum having an atomic mass of 144? It will be isotope 145, which is the average in the Royal Society of Chemistry, but there it is, 144.912. And here is the span that it has for its decay rate, 17.7 .7 to the fourth years. There's that 17. Now, I, I, I can assure you, I, I feel that Royal Society of Chemistry is not sitting down with Chaldean numerology and mathematics and, and matching this up and, and, you know, arbitrarily just putting this in there, fabricating this, uh, this information to match this stuff up. I just, I just don't buy that. This is the source code, the supernatural, tied to Prometheus, tied to the G-O-D, whatever you want to call it, title it, etc. It's whatever created this reality. It's all a Ponzi scheme as far as I'm concerned, but even the word Ponzi scheme starts with the letter P. So it gets, just gets really, really interesting. And then, you know, when you even say the 827 from the PRO, it's 59 and that's tied to the game of life. 59 being the 17th prime number, pro being 17. And then, you know, life being 17, matrix being 17. You know, all these in Chaldean. That's why Chaldean is so special, tied to mathematics, tied to alchemy. It's all about procreation. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you got here. You see, this game needs players. In order for the G-O-D or Prometheus or the, the creator, whatever that is, it comes down here and plays out its own game. And it needs you and I to experience its reality through. 
That, that, if you created this game, you would come down and play it. Each and every one of you, I guarantee you'd say yes. You would come down here and play your own game. And it's all about being the star. As I've been showing, you know, Hollywood, you're, you know, you're, you're in a movie. I've been saying over and over, and you're the star. You know, 17. Life. 17. Everybody's a star, and you get here through procreate, pro-creation. Pro-Metheus. And, you know, if you watch the 2012 Ridley Scott movie, I'm not saying that's absolute, but that was the story. That was the story, ladies and gentlemen. And it's just so interesting, the characters, that movie, I just watched it recently again. Um, you know, especially the role by David, played by Michael Fassbender. Just fascinating, some of the stuff they were saying in there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the intro. I hope that got you excited about this presentation. I got a lot of material to cover. This is probably going to be kind of a lengthy one. I'm going to try to really talk fast and go through this quickly. Um, so, here are the topics for conversation during this presentation. Number one, discovery. Number two, ecosystem. Number three, dirt. Number four, down in a hole. And number five, dust. All right. So let's get into the first topic now, discovery. And this is just one slide. <laughs> and it is the discovery of Pluto in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh. Again, he has the same birthday as I do. And, you know, <laughs> my Pluto is in my 12th house, by the way. My Pluto is in my 12th house. So I feel very qualified to do this presentation and to give you this information. And, and I feel, you know, again, this is my truth and my opinions here, but I'm going to support once again, never going to say prove, support what I'm saying to back up my opinion. I'm going to break this chart down. I'm going to show you how Pluto's tied to the Titans, tied to Kronos. It's just so interesting, all this breakdown. So here is the parameters for the discovery of Pluto. Now I put in 5 p.m. because it was said in the story that it was discovered in the late afternoon. So the late afternoon, the, the cutoff is 5 p.m. So I, I feel like that was, but even if that time is off, the only thing that would change are the houses, okay? The only thing that would change are the houses, the zodiac signs and the planet placements are pretty much gonna be dead on. So anyway, 18th of February is the, let's start here. It's the 49th day of the year. And I'm going to go right back up here in this element titanium, which is tied to the Titans, which are the sons and daughters of earth, which is who we all are. Offsprings of the sons and daughters of earth made of dirt. So it's 22. And this is one of titanium's stable isotopes, 47, 48, 49, 49 is down in a hole. Okay. So if I just go here, oh, not that one down in a hole. Okay. 49 right there. 49. So what's fascinating about this chart, this map, I'm using Vedic sidereal astrology. I feel it's the root of all astrology. I'm not saying tropical doesn't have its say, but Vedic is the root. Well, Pluto is in the 12th house. 12th is 12 is the hangman right here. Okay. So we bring the cards in to show you the picture. It's in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is the, to me, it's the prison bars. I mean, it represents the prison. It's going to be the third sign. Three is your brain tied to lithium. They give lithium to people who have bipolar disorders. It's tied to your brain, my brain, your brain, etc. Gemini is the two twins. That's you and me, your twin, your alter ego, you know, your doppelganger, if you will. It was right next to Sirius. That's the symbol for Sirius right there. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Sirius was at 20 degrees. And 20 is tied to duality. 20 is tied to birthday. Pluto was at 24 degrees. And 24 is tied to the word Thomas, as in Thomas A. Anderson in the Matrix. But anyways, uh, across the way, we had Kronos literally right across the way from Pluto, the discovery, uh, in the 20th house. I mean, in, in the 20th nashatra. And in the ninth house, uh, and in the ninth sign of Sagittarius in the sixth house, this axis is really important because this is the 12 and the six. You bring that together, we get 126. That's iodine, one half of the I am. But isn't it interesting because Kronos has a moon called Titan? And there it is. 
plutonium, Pluto, Hades, Prometheus, it's tied to the Titans. And it's right across the way from Kronos, who has that moon called Titan. It's just really interesting, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of stuff going on here. Even up here where Rahu is with the wound of Chiron. Rahu and K2, the north node of the moon, where the desires of things are going to be found. It's in the second nashatra called Barani. Barani is owned and operated by the god of death called Yama. If you go study Hinduism, Yama is Hades. Yama is Hades. And this is in the 10th house. And then we just say, well, where's Kronos at? Well, we go right back here. Kronos is in the sixth house. Sixth house is ruled by Virgo. Virgo means earth. Virgo means virgin. This is the axis of the Christ. Born of a virgin. And then this would be Pisces by default. Pisces by default. So, you know, there it is. The sixth house is the lovers. Okay. This is carbon. So it's literally saying the Titan to form carbon to come down here into the prison of Gemini. And the, the house of Gemini is ruled by the Empress. And the Empress gives birth to things. Well, in this case, she gave birth to the Titans. That's what the whole story of the Titans is all about. It's Mother Earth, Gaia, giving birth to the sons and daughters. So it's really kind of a controversy because you had the fallen angel story and then you have Gaia giving birth to the sons and daughters of the Titans. It's really, really interesting. And then the Nashatra that uh, Pluto was in on the discovery of it uh, in 1930 is through this uh, Nashatra called um, Punavarsu. And if you read about it, it's all about Mother Earth. The goddess of protection, forgiveness, wealth, and abundance. The nurturing mother, protector of children. She is the earth goddess who tends the ground on which healthy seeds can bear fruit. I mean, you can't get any more obvious than that. And Pluto is right there. Almost in the dead center in Pada 2. <laughs> right next to Sirius. Right across from Kronos who has the moon called Titan. So this is pretty obvious right here. Even where it was discovered in Flagstaff, Arizona, the latitude longitude, how important latitude longitudes are. 35 degrees north, 111 degrees west. You add up 35 and 111, you're going to get 146. And Prometheum has an atomic mass of 146. He's got many. He's got 41 isotopes, actually. But there's the 146. I mean, it's these are dead giveaways. that, And I'm going to show you why... This energy, whatever it is, wants to be called Prometheum or Prometheus. Hades and Pluto would be the runner-ups. It would be Prometheus. Okay, and there's so many other factors involved with this, ladies and gentlemen. But these are all, to me, dead giveaways of the discovery of Pluto and, um, you know, the, num the numbers that this turns out to be. <clears throat> so let's get into the uh, let's get into the second topic now, ladies and gentlemen, called ecosystem that's exactly what we are living in and dirt what's this what's what's being held in this person's hand cool shot i thought this is this is, if you don't if you don't have dirt man you got no life right? you got no life and it really comes down to and this is how i feel our reality work our reality works on a partnership between the white sun and the black sun which would be earth which of course was gonna is gonna tend to Pluto and the underworld, the underworld ruling the dirt beneath your feet, the treasures of the earth. So when we go into the Greek story, we we find this is the word Helios. This means sun, the sun. And then you have Hades, which is Pluto, and that's a sixteen. And you bet your bottom dollar that Pluto and Hades is Shiva the destroyer. Because that's what Earth is. Earth is going to be the destroyer. Shiva ruling Earth. Hades ruling Earth and the underworld. And they're all tied together. Pluto, Lucifer, Hades, Prometheum, or Prometheus, all tied to Shiva, the destroyer. That's the job. It's to take it down, recycle it. And then, you know, even this hell, you go, to, it's spirit coming down into physical matter, and now you're in hell. And now you're in the domain of Shiva, the destroyer. Because eventually, every single one of you listening to this broadcast, you're going to die. One day you'll die. And you return back to the ground, the soil right here. The underworld. That's where you're going to return to. That's a one plus one equals two fact. Not my opinion. 
So this is what it looks like through the tarot, ladies and gentlemen. This is what the recycling process, the reincarnation process, the contract that the earth has with the sun and the celestials, et cetera, et cetera. So we have Helios and we have Hades, 21 and 16. So we bring the tarot in to get the picture. 21st card, the world card. This is the portal to get in here. This is the celestial spirit coming down to play the game from the sun and everything else involved with that. And then you enter into hell. This is the 16th card, the tower. This is Shiva, Hades, Pluto, Prometheus. And this is the org This is what happens like when a seed pops through the shell and it goes towards the light. This is what happens. When you have an orgasm, this is what happens. You create energy down here in this reality. Everything that gives birth, it, it's a burst of energy. But once it delivers that birth of energy and now it forms a creation, it's subject to dying. Everything being born into this reality faces death. And that's the recycle of life. And the sun has got a contract with the dirt. And they need one another in order for us to sustain life here on earth. And, you know, when you do the numerology of it, just to solidify it, you get that mighty 74. And if you've been paying attention, 74 is tied to the element tungsten, which is the wolf. It's the letter W, which is what the sun's pattern makes as a pendulum. It's the mighty 74 and the tungsten and wolfram. And there's so many other nuggets that, that are, that's tied to that. This number is so big. It's the crown to the heart. So such a big number. So it looks like this really briefly, ladies and gentlemen, without getting into too many moving parts. I don't want to get too sciencey here, <clears throat> but nature is all about the ecosystem. And, you know, it starts with the number five. The E starts with the number five. Five is the busiest number. Five is all about identity. The Earth's identity is the five. Earth starts with the letter E. It's the five. And the fifth house of astrology is Leo and it's ruled by the sun. So the sun works on an ecosystem. It works on the carbon cycle. It works on the phosphorus cycle. It works on the nitrogen cycle and so on and so forth. This is just a few of many. And this is where you're going to get the simulation. So what does simulation mean in this whole entire scheme of things? Well, I say mankind's being used for something greater, for something bigger. We're, we're giving birth to something bigger as a collective. Now you can say we're in a simulation where it's not real, but you're listening to a real broadcast. So where do we draw the line and say what's real and what's not real? If you go out there and pick up soil, is it real? Do you feel it in your hand? So it's a simulation, but it's a real simulation to us. But mankind's being used to create something beyond the physical. That's what I believe. I'm, I'm really kind of leaning towards that. And I'm, my research has been going that way. But the carbon cycle is big. And it's all about the underworld, Pluto's domain, and Earth. This is the contract it has with the sun. Photosynthesis, carbon dioxide. The car this is all part of how we got here and how we live. If you didn't have this working, you would not be able to survive, ladies and gentlemen. The sun has a contract with the black sun, which is Earth. And plutonium is involved in that, right? Plutonium is, you know, obviously it's, uh, it can cause a detonation, but it's, you know, think Shiva, the destroyer, to wipe the board clean. Plutonium being 44, underworld being 44. To get the picture, it's the eight of cups, the eight. Of course, 19 being the sun card, 19 is the eighth prime number. So this is spirit coming down into the underworld which is earth planting the seeds and out from the seed pops the, the vine pops the tree and you have roots and now you're born into this reality it's a little different obviously when you're born from the mother's womb but it's still the same kind of set of circumstances and then you grow fruit grows on a tree you grow from a baby to an adult it's the same set of circumstances and this is all about spirit coming down to play the game of life. That's what this means. This is like spirit quest. That's what this card can mean here. In this situation, that's exactly what it means. Spirit living in the supernatural realm saying, I'm going to go play that game called life. This is the G-O-D saying, I'm going to go play that game called life. And it does. And the number eight is the infinity symbol. There's so many ways to look at this. But that's, just, I think it's just so beautiful with, with the tarot. And just here's more, you know, confirmations. Just using Chaldean, Pluto, Lucifer, architect. Well, is the earth an architect? It, it, of course it is. 
I mean, if you're going to build a home and you're making, making, you're using wood, where's the wood coming from? The earth. So the earth is an architect. It's an archetype. And the underworld has everything to do with the contract. So it's the contract of the white sun and the black sun. However, this works. Some people say the light comes from here and whatever. It's the white sun and the black sun. And they have a contract and they feed one another. If you wear a black shirt in the middle of, of summertime, you get really hot quick. If you wear a white shirt, you won't get so hot. That's because the sunlight gets absorbed by the black. The earth absorbs the sunlight. That's where you're going to get the whole photosynthesis and this carbon cycle, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the ecosystem, the simulation that we live in, this 35. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the only scripture in the Old Testament in Isaiah that does mention Lucifer, which is not even Lucifer. It's halo, which is hell. But lo and behold, when you do the full breakdown from the Hebrew, you're going to get that 94. And this was, you know, this, I, I showed this before in another decode, but it was at the end and I didn't really give a lot of, I didn't really pay a ton of attention to it, but you know, but clearly what is, what weakens the nations? Well, how do you interpret this? Because most people are going to say, oh, that's the devil. Well, ladies and gentlemen, every time you consume something that's food, you die quicker. Why do I say that? Because every time you eat food, your digestion has to start moving. Anytime you get friction in the body, anytime you put miles on the organs, you die just a little bit more. Anytime you engage in any kind of activities, you run the risk of damage to your tendons, ligaments. If you're running, if you're jogging, if you're doing exercising, that takes you down. It weakens you. Let a, not only that, but you have the radioactivity of, you know, there's the radon gases, all these gases coming up from the earth, radons in granite. I mean, that's why you have radon detectors in houses. So, it, you know, and, and plutonium is tied to radon and radium. That's why Lucifer is known as the son of the morning because radon is another, ray, ra, dawn, dawn is another word for morning. These are all tied together telling us the story. But what's going to weaken you folks is eating food, drinking, having sex, partaking in activities. That's how you end up dying a little bit more. And eventually you're going to face death and you know where you're going to return? To the ground. And you're going to feed this. And you're going to go right back to the cycle, right? Which is right here. This is what you're going to feed when you die. And it's just an ongoing cycle and it never ends. Not the way this is going right now. Not unless something massive happens. It never ends. So there you have it. There's the contract. And this is what, it, this is what Pluto delivers. Life. This is why Prometheus was called the Titan who not only stole fire to, to give to humans, which is information, but also it, it was branded as it molded men from clay. Clay being dirt clay being dirt. And I'm going to get into that. So here's a connection of plutonium into Shiva the destroyer. Here is Shiva spelled out in the original spelling of Sanskrit language. I had to create a cipher in Sanskrit. Yep, that's right. I did to get the original. And there is the breakdown. It's 87, which is tied to this element, Francium, which is also going to be tied to the number 38 through Strontium. And then, you know, Lucifer and the primes is 223, which is a mirror of the 322. Shiva the destroyer, ladies and gentlemen, it's, the, it's Earth. The underworld and Earth, they're, 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 they're one and the same. They're either that or they're, they're partners. But this is pretty dead giveaway. And I'll be showing a little more of that because it's the 43 and 44. If you've been paying attention, we're going to get into a little bit more on that. But let's get into the next topic now. Let's keep this flowing. We're going to get into dirt. This is such a big topic. If you're a farmer, if you have a garden, ladies and gentlemen, you need the or there's all living organisms inside the dirt, which feed the soil, which create, you know, energy and you can build upon that. So I start, this is where I got my breakthrough with Prometheus and Pluto and Hades and the underworld and the earth and knowing it's the black sun. It's, you know, the organic matter, organic now. Okay, organic. Here are the four most abundant or of course four four being the cube four most abundant elements in organic matter i'm using chat gpt you got to be careful with chat bgpt though you got to double cross reference your information just so you know but these are the basic building blocks of, of organic compounds soil 
And the most dominant is carbon. Carbon is the most dominant. Okay? And it's the 20. Duality is 20. Birthday is 20. You're all... This is why you go to theology, you're born from the dirt. I know you're not, but again, it's just a, it's a context. It's a story. It's an allegorical reference. You're born from the womb, but it's kind of the same situation because your feet are on the ground. You just got to look at it a little bit deeper. But this 20 in carbon is really interesting because then it's going to pave a way for this really, really important element called calcium. The majority of the calcium in the body is stored in the bones and teeth. If you have a high acidic body, the first line of defense to buffer those acids is going to be primarily calcium. <clears throat> That's why calcium is so important. Calcium has several atomic masses. Its average is 40, which is tied to death and regeneration. But it does have one called 42.95. And you get a bag of bones. When you get down here in this reality, you now get a bag of bones. We're a fractal above the soil, a fractal above the underworld, but you're standing on the underworld. That's really how this looks. And so let's get into this. these four uh, elements. We're going to add up the protons and we're going to get the number 22. And what's really fascinating about this, ladies and gentlemen, is the word organic is 22. Just like the word natural. Natural and organic, both are 22. How about that? And the foremost abundant for the soil, where we get our fruits and vegetables, where and even animals, if you eat animals, they feed off the ground because they're going to be feeding off of plants and vegetables and worms and bugs, and they're all in the dirt, folks. It's all about death and regeneration down here. It's a it's a it's a, a dog eat dog world down here in this reality. Okay, but it's obviously it. There's the organic 22, 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. The 22nd letter in the English is the letter V. V is the upside down A. You put them together, you get the pylon, you get the number eight. You get the as above, so below. And it's tied to the titan, the titans again, the titans, the sons and daughters of earth, folks. The sons and daughters of earth. And we can even bring in the story of the Christ saying, ye are the salt of the earth. Because 22 is the atomic mass of sodium. Sodium tied to our bodies. Our bodies have sodium in the fluid. Our bodies are made up of primarily water all organic folks but you're seeing the organic inside you could see is, is is chaldean organic this is why ladies and gentlemen the source code is the source code it's in every it's got its hands in every cookie jar there is you see in alchemy science of numbers mathematics uh you know real life stuff here and even the tarot you know that a lot of people use the, the fool as zero or 22 or both and uh, this is what we are. We're born, we're born from the earth and we're the, we become fools. So the salt of the earth, the fool. I'm going to show this again a little bit later on. So if we add up, we did the protons. Now if we, did the, if we do the atomic masses using the trusty calculator, we get 42.99. 42.99. And that leads to this element right here called molybdenum. It also leads to calcium, but I'm going to start with molybdenum. And then you get into Douglas Noel Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where he says, life, the universe, and everything is the number 42. Well, now we have a big marker for all this because clearly life, the universe, and everything is the soil. It's the organic matter in earth. And without it, there's no life. There is no life without the dirt beneath your feet. And there's, that's life universe. There it is, 42. Did they know that? Did he know this? I, I mean, you could assume that. It's right there. You can't miss it. Let's keep going, though. So what I wanted to really do is, is look at not just the number on the left side of the decimal, which is primarily what I do, but I wanted to look at the number on the right side of the decimal. So we have masculine feminine here. So I brought together <clears throat> molybdenum, in Einsteinium. And uh, the average atomic mass for molybdenum is 95. Its most abundant is 97. And then the average for Einsteinium is 252. And so when you add up 95 and 252, you're going to get 347. 
347 is a prime number. It's the 69th prime number. And ladies and gentlemen, what is the 69? Yin yang. What are we living on? Yin yang. Black and white checkerboard floor, yin yang. Black and white checkerboard floor means earth. Duality. It goes, it gets dark at night. It gets light during the day. That's the yin yang. That's the checkerboard floor. And it just so happens the 347 is a permutation of the 374, which is the G-O-D spelling in Chaldean. Just like that. Okay, so I, this is how I feel. The G-O-D plays characters, can be whoever it wants. If you follow the traditions of the Vedic, you know that everyone's incarnations of the G-O-D. Everybody. So what's your story, you know? If we add up the protons, 42 and 99, we're going to get the number 141. This is a humdinger right here. 42, 99, 141. It's tied to this element right here called cerium. And cerium is the goddess of agriculture. Well, what are we talking about? What is all this? What does dirt have to do with anything? Agriculture. This also go to other elements as well, but cerium, the goddess of agriculture, pretty much a humdinger there. The goddess of agriculture. So 42, really big. The 42 and the 99, when you extend upon it, really massive uh, uh pieces here that I see. How about the tarot? What does the tarot have to say about the organic matter that we're, uh, you know, we're feeding off of, we're made up of? Uh, well, it's the six of cups. This is the card of December 25th. December 25th being Christmas. Christmas just means life, man. You're alive. You're a human being. Celebrate life. Forget about all the customary and all the bolt on stuff that people do. Just it means life. The as above the sun moves one degree above the ecliptic, it's born again. That's what it means in the celestial above and then down below we celebrate life. Yes, it's great to be alive. Every day that should be the case, but when you look to the celestials, that's when the sun moves one degree above the ecliptic. This is all about nostalgia, being a child again, believing in magic. What do you want to be when you grow up? This is what this all means here, ladies and gentlemen. It's so beautiful when you just can see the message. And how about this right here? You know, do you believe in reincarnation? Well, I mean, is this a coincidence here? <laughs> you know, life, the universe and everything, 42, reincarnation, 42, crucifixion, 42. So if you put your faith in that, I mean, are you guaranteed to get reincarnated? Is it a, is it a guarantee or is there a way out? You know, there's no way to prove there's a way out. We can theorize on it, but do we just continually keep getting recycled back into this, this game? I mean, <clears throat> When you go here and, you know, you go organic, you can also look at this word right here and it's the same outcome. Recycle. So is this all that happens to us? Do we just recycle back into the game and we become a different character? Well, if that's a one plus one equals two fact, then I'm, I say you better start checking off all the boxes. Maybe one of the requisites is graduating and that's being a good person and being service to others. Stop complaining and bitching and pointing the finger and it's them and it's they. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, how about the medicine cards? We have the bat, the upside down world. So we're not living in an upside down world, but when you're standing from above looking down or looking down over the simulation, obviously that would be the case. And uh, then what I decided to do was look at the eight elements that are the most abundant in the earth's crust. So we have the ones that are most abundant in the soil, the organic matter. Here are the eight that are most abundant in the earth's crust. This is this one completely blew me away, ladies and gentlemen. We and and what I decided to do is add up all eight and four. So the crust and the organic matter, all the protons and the number we got, 145, which is the atomic mass of what element? Prometheum. <laughs> Prometheum's average is 145. So just like that, you know, Prometheus decoded. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't get any more clear as that right there. And then if we uh, do the, um, if we add up the atomic uh, masses of all eight elements, just for the uh, the crust, we get the 252, we go right back to that 99, the Einsteinium. And you know, I pulled some data on this, the longest living isotope, 252. Look at the half-life, 471 days. 
Manly P. Hall, Lucifer's number. So what is Lucifer tied to? The dirt. This is, the fallen angel story is all about Pluto, Hades, Prometheus, the start of mankind, creating mankind. And this is all we know at this point, but the contracts with the sun, the celestials. There's a contract between earth and the sun and the moon of course is in there as well. They all need one another. They all use one another to create the cycle of life. And it's a beautiful cycle, ladies and gentlemen. Even the number 252 is a prime number uh, tied to the 1601, 1601, you drop that zero, you get 161. 61 is the first number after the one point. This is the golden ratio right here. So right back to Prometheum. It's just really, really interesting. And so then I decided to bring them all together. We have the eight most abundant elements in the Earth's crust tied to Einsteinium. And then we have the four most abundant elements of organic matter. And it can be either one of these, uh, calcium or molybdenum. But I feel calcium really kind of had the big takeaway because it's kind of in our bones and teeth, right? Molybdenum means lead. 97 is the 25th prime number and black sun equals 25. So it doesn't matter which one you use, but when you look at the numerology, uh, it, it's, it's very fitting here. Einsteinium and calcium. And it's 61. Really, 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 really fascinating. Einsteinium and calcium. Prometheum. And calcium, you know, is tied to our bones and teeth, and our bones and teeth will return to the ashes of the ground. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Just pretty easy to see. Then if we bring molybdenum into it, it tells a little bit of a different story, but it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Um, when you do the numerology, you get the number 81. And 81 is tied to this element called thallium. And thallium right here is from the Greek word thallos. This is how beautiful this is, ladies and gentlemen. It comes from the Greek word thallos, which means bud or shoot. It's used to describe the early stage of growth or development of a plant emerging from the soil. How beautiful is that? So the 99 and 42 through these two elements means the growth of life, which is tied to the soil, which the soil has a contract with the sun above. You get the rising sun, you get the sun at midday. It's a contract with the earth. Pluto, Hades, Prometheus. Prometheus in the Greek mythology was the Titan who molded men from clay. And his brother Epimetheus, which I feel is who we are, is the afterthought, Prometheus's forethought. It's just so interesting and that's what creates life on this planet, is the, the sun above and the black sun below, giving birth to these plants and vegetables and fruits and grass and all these organisms that live in the soil, bugs and earthworms. And it's just so beautiful right here when you look at this kind of stuff. And even right here, this is the tree of knowledge, <clears throat> 81. Prometheus was known as the Titan who stole the fire. The fire was knowledge. Okay. This is, these are pretty much a no brainer. And you know, if you really go like the giants of the earth, you know, the giants of the earth, if they were giants of the earth, you know, how much, they would have fed the soil when they fell down and died. You know, the bones going back to the soil. And it's just, you know, the whole story of the fallen angel story was, the, you know, knowledge, wanting to come down here. Knowledge. You know, that, that story's written into the script, obviously, here with this tree of knowledge. And then this was a really big humdinger here, ladies and gentlemen. When you do the atomic masses of Einsteinium and molybdenum, the 99 and 42, right here, you get the number 349. And, you know, here's Thalos in the Greek, 70. Well, 349 is the 70th prime number. I mean, pretty much a dead giveaway here. So again, Einsteinium and molybdenum, and this is its most abundant weight, by the way. 95 is its average. This is its most abundant. So you get the 349, and 349 is the 70th prime number. So just like that, ladies and gentlemen, bam! You get the tree of life, the tree of knowledge, all wrapped up into one. Etc. Etc. It's pretty interesting. Ask me here with all this, <clears throat> and you can even check out my cannabis decoded. I broke this all down with thallium and how thallos is tied to the tree of knowledge. I mean, the amount of downloads I used to get from partaking in cannabis—it was just 
a, a massive a gem for me when I used to partake in it. Uh, it just gave me so much information. And then when we break Thalos all the way down to the number, tw the single digits, we did the double digits. This is bringing them all the way down to the single. We get 25 and 97 uh, is the 25th prime number right here. And Black Sun is 25. So Thallium, remember Thallium comes from the word Thalos. Thalos uh, means plants emerging from the soil. Okay, plants emerging from the soil. And it's interesting because this is 81. Pluto was discovered on February 18th, which is the mirror of the 81. The word Jesus equals 18. The word Christ equals 18. And the mirror of that is the 81. It's just so interesting with us. And it means life, folks. This means life. Thallium means life. Without this man, there's no plant. Soil, it means life. And that's, that's, it's just so beautiful when you can look at this. And black sun, earth being the black sun. Tied to Pluto and Hades in the underworld. You can all, they'll include those. Maybe that's exactly what Pluto and Hades is. Maybe it's just earth, you know? So anyways, there's that. But then how about the tarot, uh, the card of illumination? That matches that 25. It's the mighty queen of clubs. If you're a queen of clubs, very psychic card. Well, what is earth? It's the queen, okay? The dirt is black, queen of clubs. So it's very, very fitting to have this card there. Black sun being 25, the queen of clubs being 25th card in the deck. It's black, the soil is black. There's no light under the soil. The queen is mother earth. Gives birth to things. The letter Q is 17, that's the word life. The word pro, procreation. The letter Q is 17. And again, 97 is the 25th prime number. Here's the uh, most abundant weight of molybdenum, which means lead. This is all of us. Lead, calcium, our bones, teeth, dirt, you know? And this is where the phoenix rises from the earth. Phoenix rises from the ashes. It's going to be all about the black sun, which is earth, Pluto, Hades, the underworld, et cetera, et cetera. That's what this is all tied to. And it's so beautiful. And then I think this is the last slide for this topic. The 25th element in the periodic table, manganese, uh, manganese, excuse me. And manganese is tied to this icon, which is what I feel we all are right here. It's the recycling reincarnation process. This is, you know, we're all cattle. This is the indication of that. I know what this means, but you know, the magnet, Earth's magnetic. We live in a magnetic electric universe. This is all very fitting here. Manganese is one of the essential elements for the body. 54 tied to xenon, the voice in your head. Just, it just goes on and on. The, the, the clues are endless here, but it's pretty crystal clear what all this stuff means. So now let's get into the, the, the next topic, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost getting to the tail end of this. I got two more topics left. Thanks for sticking with me. This topic called Down in a Hole, which you heard the song playing. So I just want to give some credit out to these guys right here. Uh, John and Bass or bass or these two guys. This was the song playing. I'm going to leave this in the description. An amazing acoustic um, with the audio they had. They did an amazing job. Great guitar player. Awesome voice. I love this version and I'm not going to get a copyright strike for it. I'm very grateful and I want to give credit. So go subscribe. They have some really amazing songs. A lot of good covers. This guy's a great singer, I thought, and I wanted to give them a shout out. And really, you know, I did a decode on Down in a Hole. This is nothing new. The hourglass, that's what it means, down in a hole. And this is, you know, how we all got here. So it's spirit coming down into physical matter to play the game called life. Hey, I want to go play. It's Westworld. That's what Westworld talked about. Prometheus 49, down in a hole 49. And that's what Alice in Chains. Alice going down in the hole, down in a hole, losing my soul. Right? 95 is going to be tied to a <clears throat> Americium. And, you know, it's one half of the I am. Very, very interesting. This is one of the verses Jerry Cantrell sang, down on a hole, losing my soul. Um, and this is spirit into matter right here. So this, it leads to, you know, the 49 and it leads to this element. It's going to lead to Indium as well. I'm going to get to that. But here's the big takeaway. And I showed this on the uh, astrological map for titanium and where Pluto was located and Saturn being across from Pluto and Saturn's got the moon Titan and Titans are the sons and daughters of earth. This is all of us. This is, this is going to be tied to the sun, the shape of the sun as it makes its way across the sky. Um, but the 49 is right there. It's one of the stable isotopes of titanium. It's tied to plutonium. 
And uh, when we really take the three that are in bed together here, plutonium has the 94, which is the mirror of the 49, down in a hole is a 49, and then titanium's got the 49 for its stable isotope. When you say those three, <clears throat> you get the number 91. The number 91, and it's tied to this gentleman right here. The guy they casted to play Lucifer on the great hit series show on Netflix called Lucifer, Thomas John Ellis Hooper. Now, you're only going to see Thomas John Ellis unless you dig. His mother's maiden name was Hooper. That's the value of adding on your mother's maiden name if you have if you have one, right? You should, All of you should, um, but it's the 91. 91 is tied to protactinium. It's the serpent on the Royal Society of Chemistry's icon. It means the first, okay? And 71 is the 20th prime number. 71 and 20 is 91. You go right here to the 71 lutetium. You know, we have the words hue, man. Hue means color. Hue is 16, it reduces down to the seven. Man is 10, reduces down to the one. It's 71. This is, we're tied, all tied to Lucifer, folks. Light, the colors of the rainbow. Okay, that's why I say be the best little devil you can be. Plutonium, Hades, Lucifer, Prometheus. All tied together. And it leads to the dirt that you walk on that you probably don't really pay attention to. This is where you do your grounding. Those of you that really do the grounding, put your feet in the ground, you ground. Healthy thing to do. Well, you wouldn't be getting that if it wasn't for the underworld. And plutonium, 44, 44. <clears throat> and then doing these again right here, plutonium, indium, titanium, having the 49, 49, 49, the mirror of that. 91 in the string of the golden ratio. Occupies digits 43 and 44. Here they are right here. You go all the way where that 91 is, 44 digits. It gives you a total of 210. And 210 is tied to the element radon, the sun of the morning. Lucifer is called the sun of the morning. It's Ra, which is the sun, and dawn, which is the morning, radon. This is 210, and it's going to be isotope 211. You know what the 211 is? It's the 47th prime number when you add up the isotopes of all three of these. 244, this is going to round up to 113. This is going to round up to 50. 244 plus 113 plus 50, it's going to give you 407. This is the 47th prime number. Can't make this stuff up like great Nigel used to say. Pretty easy to see this kind of stuff. And then the humdinger, of course, is the tie into Shiva the destroyer, the great Shiva. Because there it is. 91 occupies digit 43 and 44. Shiva has these two letters, 43 and 44. Okay, it's pretty it's pretty easy to see. Lucifer is Shiva. Shiva is Lucifer. Shiva is tied to Hades and Pluto, which they're all tied to Prometheus, which is tied to creation, which is tied to having a contract with the sun and the celestials. All these stories written into the script of life, but we're talking about the dirt beneath your feet, ladies and gentlemen. So this is kind of really where it starts when you look at the elements on the periodic table. Uranium seems to be like the starting point of them all. The you. It's you and me. Uranus, it's got the word anus in it. And if you study the human body, the anus is formed before anything else when you're an embryo in the, in the mother's womb. Uranus, uranium. But it's that 92. So it starts there and these all have decay rates. So uranium decays down to radium. Okay, right here. And how big of a, how big of a one this one is, Ra. The Egyptian sun god Ra is a decay of uranium. So essentially radium, Ra, would be a subordinate to uranium. Uranium would be its boss. And then radon would be farther down in the pantheon. And it would now be in uh, a decay of radium-226. Radon, the sun of the morning, Lucifer. And you can obviously see, you know, the falling from heaven here. If you want to look at it this way, down to the dirt. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And even the Georgia Guidestones, when they got taken down, <clears throat> the the code was pretty crystal clear here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the opening date when they first put this thing up, March 22nd. There's the 322, kind of a no-brainer. It was dismantled uh, early morning hours on July 6th. That's 226, and that is you know the the weight of of, of radium. So you can clearly see the the connecting points here. Now, what's so fascinating is radon is found inside of granite. And that's what these slabs were made up of. 
This is why you got to get a radon tester if you have granite in your house, or you should, because it leaches from the, from the granite slabs. Radon does, and you can get radon poisoning, which also can weaken you. That's why it says Lucifer weakens the nations. Radon, okay, radioactivity, radiation, all this stuff weakens us, folks. Radiation weakens you. Sun, if you stay on the sun and you get, you get sun poisoning, that's essentially radiation poisoning, if you, if you will. Not exactly in that same context as if you got exposed to, you know, to, uh, to a bomb going off, uh, a nuclear bomb, but you still, you can, you, you get the sun's rays and it can, can, you know, can take you down. So there's so many other layers to this, you know, I mean, just the days on the calendar, not including the years, three months and 14 days, 88 plus 226 is 314. Uh, this is a kind of a no brainer here. And the 106 is tied to our DNA, which is tied to uh, raw. Again, I showed that. Check out my DNA decoded. So this was kind of a no-brainer, and there's the lineages of it all, right here. Tied to Lucifer, Prometheus, Hades, uh, Ra, the Sun God, Ra. It's it's all there, obviously. And even this game right here, the classic game called Pac-Man. I don't know if you knew this or not. I've shown this many times before. How many dots are there in a game of Pac-Man? Two hundred and forty-four. Oh, right there is the atomic mass of plutonium, the average 244. So here's the sun going around and here's the game, the age of Pisces. And when all those dots get eaten, that's it. You go on to the next level, next age. And then you go around and eat them again, next age. Next age. You know, that's how I feel this game works. That's why it's yellow. <laughs> It's just so beautiful, this whole thing. And people make these games. I mean, obviously, 244 was a tribute to plutonium consciously. I mean, you couldn't make that up. I mean, but I mean, think about what we'd have to go into making this exactly like this to get those pellets like that. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. So really, it comes down to Prometheus being the Titan and the Greek mythology, which, you know, Ridley Scott did a great job. 2012 Prometheus, the whole origin. They wanted to find the origins of mankind. And just the whole scene with David and the robot and, you know, just amazing. Um, robots are a fractal down. Human beings, we're going to be a fractal down. Uh, it's a Mandelbrot set. But anyway, he's the Titan who not only gave us wisdom, which is where you're going to get Lucifer tied into that, right? The, 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 the wisdom that you get, the intelligence, um, but also the creation of mankind. And here is the original spelling of Prometheus. <clears throat> it's the 48. The number 48 even if you do the pro pro in greek it's going to give you eight plus one is nine nine plus seven is sixteen sixteen is tied to uh the tower card and hell okay pro metheus and it's tied to cadmium of course 48 and it's also tied to one of the isotopes of titanium okay cadmium meaning earth titanium means the sons and daughters of earth Really easy to see. So it really comes down to the I am, ladies and gentlemen. The I am and the contract the sun has with the earth. You know, it's here's the monad spirit, and then it comes down, and here it is it in Pluto's glyph right there. And then this is the marker for entering earth and then the crucifixion here. The mentoring entered the body. That's what the cross is. Spirit coming down to play the game of life. Okay, that's, that's, that's how I feel this works, and it becomes the am. So I is spirit, and then am would be matter. That's kind of how you would read this. And now you're matter, and you would return to the, the ground that you walk on. So this is really interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So I have, a, I have an application on my phone called Galaxy Tarot. And I would, a few weeks ago when I was doing this deco, when I was doing the research on it, <clears throat> I, was, I was asking questions. Now, I don't know how the heck this stuff's coming up other than it's supernatural. Because then you would say, well, it's AI. Well, my phone wasn't connected to internet. So that would rule that out. And I'm just telling you folks, the supernatural runs it all. It runs every damn thing in this reality, has its hands in every cookie jar. It's the only way I can explain this. And I'm going to support that now. I'm not going to say prove, I'm going to support it. When I asked the question, because I was like, I, this was before I was going to call it Prometheus. Prometheus decoded. I said, do you prefer being called Hades or Pluto? Because this was all about Pluto at first. And then Hades is where Pluto came from. 
because this is Rome and then Greek, and Greek came before the Roman. Well, this is the this is the outcomes I got. The Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I do this a lot now, and then it gives me a number output. Not the interpretations of the cards, not necessarily, but the numbering output right here. 70th card in the deck, 75th card in the deck. And obviously this one was a dead giveaway because that's tied to Lucifer. This is the original spelling all the way using the full parameters of the Hebrew gematria, Lucifer through its Halil, H-Y-L-L, or Hell, 75. But that wasn't the bigger takeaway here. It was this one. It was 70 and 75 is 145. And that's what I knew because I knew, you know, by heart, I know Promethium, the average is 145. So what does it prefer to be called, whatever this energy is? Prometheum, Prometheus, which of course is tied to the ground, which I know is tied to the Cain story because Cain tilled the grounds. Cain's sacrifice was plants and vegetables. Okay. I know that's what the Cain story, Cain and Abel, those are allegorical by the way. So it's really simple to see this kind of stuff. This was just a big humdinger for me. So let's, let's run with this 145 being the average of Prometheum. Where does it sit in the golden ratio? Well, it starts at digit 859. Well, 859 is not just any number. It's the 149th prime number. And what is that? It's the 35th prime number. And what's 35? Simulation. So what creates the simulation? Well, the origin of this source right here from the golden ratio, from the sun. Well, the sun and the earth cause the simulation. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photo. Moving pictures. See how all this works? And even, you know, where's the 61 found in the string of the golden ratio? It's the first two digits right after. Digit two and three. If you count the one point. If you don't count the one point, it's going to be the one and the two. And two is the first prime number. The very first prime number in all of mathematics, and Prometheus has got it. Promethium's got it. And it's the third Fibonacci number. It's really, really fascinating to get into mathematics. So what I decided to do <clears throat> was find and locate. So we know, we know the 61's at the beginning. Well, where's the 145? This is the average now, right? Well, here it is. There's the average, 145. I can't even remember how, how many digits I went. Darn it, I wish I would have posted that. But there's the 145. And this is what it equals. 3,823, all these digits. And is it a prime number? You bet your freaking nanny it is. It's the 531st prime number, which is a permutation, a number anagram of the 153. And please, those of you, refresh your memory. How many uh, fish did the Christ and the apostles catch when they casted their nets over to the right side of the boat? How about 153? Hmm? How about 153? And where were they? They were on earth. Prometheus and Jesus have so much in common, have so much to do with one another. We're all having the Jesus Christ superstar experience, folks. And you're on television. That's what this element means. It's the GD element, the God element. 64 codons in our DNA, 64 squares on a chessboard, 64 numbers in the ancient I Ching, 64 numbers, numbers in the human design. <laughs> Excuse me. It's really, really interesting. And then if we say the numbers, 3823, three, we get 77, and I knew what that meant. This is Hotel California, the element Iridium. It's the drag. That's why the dragons here. It's the great dragon got hurled down. Yeah, into all of us. We're born from the earth, sons and daughters. We're titans. Okay, and this is Hotel California. Go check out my Hotel Capricorn. The five band members of the Eagles. You add up all their birthdays. 77. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. So that gets into the last topic now, ladies and gentlemen, on dust, on dust. And uh, we're going to get into some theology now. I'm going to go right back to the Old Testament, which is going to be all the way back to the age of Aries, I feel. New Testament is going to be the age of Pisces. So age of Aries, which was a lot of war going on. Genesis 2, verses 7. And this is talking about God forming man of the dust of the ground. So it's Genesis 25, 2, verses 7. And we're going to get into the 34 total, but I'm going to do the alchemology now, taking the total outcome and bringing it into alchemy and adding it all up. Manganese, helium, nitrogen, trusty calculator, 72.93. And it leads to this element right here. We can get to the 72 angels and demons, by the way, through the element hafnium. 
<clears throat> but this is the big humdinger here. Germanium having the 72.63. Why this element? Folks, what happens when you plant the seed in the ground? How about does it germinate? <laughs> and where are we from? The dust of the ground? Germination? Germanium? Kind of a no-brainer, right? And then how about this? The fool. We See, we're born as a fool. We germinate into a baby. Germination. So again, plants... They are from a seed, and that grows into a plant. We are born from a seed, the sperm, the egg. Same thing, just a fractal different. And we become fools as we come into this world. And this was the dead giveaway. I've shown this before. This is the zero card. Well, zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There's the 32. I know this to be true. This is what this means. Man's formed from the dust of the ground. We are all fools. Okay. This is exactly what this means right here. And then how about this element right here? So the total is 34. If we just do it straight up, <clears throat> and that's going to be tied to this element right here called selenium. It's also going to be tied to chlorine, the 17th element, which is tied to life and pro creation. But selenium is tied to the moon. The moon has a lot to do with it. The incarnation, reincarnation process. So it's selenium, 32. There's the 32 right there. Selenium being 79, that's gold. Dust of the ground, shall dust return? You return to the ground when you die. It's pretty easy to see here. And then we get more references into Lucifer here, ladies and gentlemen. 34th card in the deck, tied to that total outcome. It's the Eight of Diamonds. And Lucifer's sigil fits right over the top of that. Fits right over the top. Thank you, Kevin Clark, for showing that. Um, he's the one who kind of... I had it at the seven of diamonds. He's like, oh, the eight of diamonds. And I was like, oh, yeah, damn, you're right. It's there, seven, uh, eight of diamonds. So big shout out to Kevin Clark, the great decoder. <clears throat> there it is. It's pretty much a dead giveaway, a match going over all those eights. Eight being tied to the number 19, 19 being the eighth prime number, and, uh, you know, eight being tied to the Taurus fields. And then here's the tarot card that uh, is spun off from the eight of diamonds. It's card number 72, the eight of pentacles. And what did we say the 72 was? Go back up here, and it's tied to germanium, the, the, the germination from the alchemology of this. And you know, what, what does this card mean? Well, it's hard at work. See, once you come into this reality and you become someone who's responsible, and now you got to go to work. Now you got to pay the bills. Now you got to buy a car and get a job and maybe have kids and offspring of your own and raise them, and you're hard at work. That's what it means, ladies and gentlemen, when you're, the game needs players. Okay, the game needs players. And, you know, even when, the, for, if you study theology, <coughs> Genesis 1 verses 2, it says, my spirit, I'm sorry, Genesis, uh, what's the scripture? My spirit shall be, it's my spirit. What is it? Like six verses three. God's in the, the God of the Bible says, my spirit shall not live from in man forever. Genesis 6 verses three. Not your spirit, my spirit. Okay? You're just being used, folks, as utility, as an instrument here in this reality to build things. We're building something far beyond the scope of what mankind knows about. That's, that's, that's my take on it. So we have more reference to radium here, Ra. We do the numerology of the three elements. From the alchemology, we get the number 88, radium. We, I showed you the lineage, how big that was, going back <coughs> to the Egyptian sun god, the sun having a contract with, with earth. These are big, big dead giveaways. And then the 34 in the string of the golden ratio. Uh, go, we have to go 27 digits in. The word golden is 27, tied to the sun, which has a contract with the earth, but it's a total of 148. That's the alchemy of I am, 53 and 95, 148. You see how that works? So again, 34 is the total outcome. Talking about man being formed from the dust of the ground. We go 34, we go 27 digits into the string of the golden ratio to locate that 34. And all these digits add up to 148. And the I am on the periodic table, when you spell it out, the protons, 53 and 95 is 148. So I, mankind, we're being used, folks, as instruments. That's totally fine. Just know your code. It's beautiful once you figure your code out. And you become one with the code just becomes really, really beautiful. And you're now part of the story. You're written into the story. I went over, the, my life is but a dream. I covered this. Check it. This is a really good one. Check out my life is but a dream. It's the I am having its story. It's, it's role playing. 
life procreation matrix tied to Samaria. And then this guy right here who wrote Life is But a Dream, the original Life is But a Dream, uh, it, he was tied to it. 62, tied to the 62. You know, there's the 148. It's pretty easy to see. And then all these connection, connecting points. It's just so beautiful. And really the, the, the dream, ladies and gentlemen, that we're having is from the brain, right? The thalamus. I feel like the thalamus is the, the center point. Now, obviously you have the pineal gland and many other glands, but it's the thalamus is the golden egg sitting in the middle of your brain. You chop your brain in half. You're going to get the, the, the all seeing eye of Horus representing the earth, Prometheus. Okay. And, um, 27 is tied to the word golden. There's 27 digits into the golden ratio. There's the 34. So what is this saying right here? You are, you're made from the dust. And once you're formed from the dust, you now become part of the I am, you become the am. See, the I runs you and you become the am. You're the instrument called the am and then the I runs you. That's why when you say, I am this, I am going to go do that. I, that's, that's you creating your magic spells, but your mind's not your own. Where do you come up with these ideas? Where do you think they come from? They're not coming from you. They're popping up from somewhere else, folks. That's the, that's, you know, that's the, the G-O-D, the supernatural, controlling this reality whenever it wants. Does it give us free will? I, I mean, I think we have some, but not as much as people think they got. That's my opinion. Even the word heaven's 27 thalamus. So where's heaven? It's in your brain. You got to make heaven out of this reality, right? As ugly as it is sometimes. So it comes down to uh, the Hebrew aspect now. We did the Chaldean. Now here's what the Hebrew. Hebrew has Genesis has 13 instead of 25. 13, 2 verses 7. There's that 22. Remember what that 22 was. I'm just going to go right back up to here. And we're going to look at the word, not only recycle, but we're going to look at the word <clears throat> organic. Okay. Organic is tied to the scripture talking about man being made from the dust of the ground. Organic being the soil. Prometheus, Hades, Pluto. Okay. Fallen angel story. It's all here, folks. Who formed us? Who is the Lord God? Well, it's going to come down to an opinion. It's going to come down to an opinion. Here's 22 digits into the string of the golden ratio. <coughs> you get a total of 114. 114 is 49th element. And remember what 49 was, down in a hole. So this clearly says that when the G-O-D wants to come down here and play the game and form you, it comes down in a hole. And now you become part of the Titans, the sons and daughters of Earth. I am titanium. You remember that song? It's just so much meaning to this. So we're almost at the tail end of this, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for sticking with me. Here are the cards of illumination to go further on the description of being formed from the ground, the dust. Dust you shall return to. So it's 13, 2 versus 7. So here are the cards in the deck. King of hearts, two hearts, seven hearts, all hearts. This is all fire in the suits of the cards of illumination. Okay, this is going to be water <clears throat> in the tarot, but it doesn't really matter. Fire, water, water, bodies made up of water, fire is what creates mankind. So it's all going to lead to the same aspects. When you say the numerology of these three cards, you get 157 and you're on television. That's right. That's how beautiful these cards are tied to now Hebrew numerology. The Hebrew numerology tied to the cards and they're all hearts. So we bring it into the tarot to get the picture even further. And it tells the story of how we got here, folks. The King of Hearts becomes the King of Cups, the King of Love, okay? The King of Love. And then it forms, chapter two, it forms a partnership with the instrument called your body. Okay, this is your duality here. This is your yin yang, and there's the supernatural. There's the God right there, the caduceus. This is partnership. It's chapter two, verses seven, and then the seven of hearts becomes the seven of cups, and the seven of cups is all about. This is one of the cards of the game of life. This is choices. The God now has all the choices in the world to, of what to do with you, because you have a contract with God, and this is the the off. This is the God itself in this context. The King of Hearts. 13 being tied to death in the Major Arcana. 
13 being tied to aluminium, which means luminary body. Luminary body coming down and coming into a living soul. Spirit into matter. That's what this means. Forming a contract. And the contract involves all these choices that your screenplay is going to offer that was already written before you got here. That's how we can, we can decode this. So to finish this presentation up, we're going to end off with some alchemy and some mainstream 1939 Wizard of Oz. The tin, Why I have the Tin Man here? Because the 50th card in the deck, the King of Cups, which is the spirit, the spirit of the G.O.D. and God we trust equals 50. Cinquenta in Spanish, which is 33. It's the Tin Man. Tin, which is the merger of worlds. And then you get the 38th card being tied to the 38th element called Strontium. This is going to be isotope 88. 87 is tied to Shiva, the destroyer, tied to Pluto and Hades in the underworld. And then we have Technetium, 43rd, because this means artificial. <laughs> so then we can get into cloning and all that really crazy stuff if we really wanted to, because that is definitely a possibility that is on the table here, folks. And then you take a look at the Tin Man. So the whole story I feel that the G.O.D. lives through and the, what the Wizard of Oz was trying to tell us, the Tin Man was looking for his heart. And so when the supernatural is up there in the spiritual realms, the celestial realms, whatever the heck that looks like, it has to come down here to experience its own game. It has to go from spirit into matter. So it forms into an avatar, but now it has to find love. It has to go searching for love. See, probably up in the supernatural realm, it doesn't experience the same kind of things that we do. That's why this reality is so beautiful. That's why instead of complaining, you should be being grateful because maybe there's a waiting list to get in here, but you people are bickering and complaining. Just not, not in my book. And then obviously the total, <clears throat> the total alchemy of these three is 131. And to end this, if you've been paying attention, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, Brain Damage, there's someone in my head, but it's not me. That's the supernatural playing out the existence here. So what did you see, ladies and gentlemen, during this presentation? What a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate you making it. If you made it all the way, way to the end, again, put the comment in there. I made it all the way to the end. The analytics, very low, the percentages. I wish to see more people, but only 15 to 17% make it all the way to the end. This was a long one. So if you did make it all the way to the end, put it in the comments. I made it all the way to the end. We'd love to hear to see who's making it all the way to the end. Um, but this to me is one of the most gratifying decodes I've ever done, probably because I know who I found my reincarnation from. I know I'm the reincarnation of Percival Lowell, the continuing aspects of Pluto, Hades, and now Prometheus, the dirt beneath your feet, et cetera, et cetera. I'm probably going to do a part two. I have more information to go on this. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'd love to hear what you saw. Keep your comments coming. Just keep them cordial. You don't have to agree with everything I say. That's totally fine. These are my opinions and truths. Just be nice, man. It's all about loving here. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan for Decode Your Reality. Until next time, we will see you later.